I'm here at the UAVionics booth at AirVenture 2023 with Britt Wanick, the Vice President of Marketing with UAVionics. Britt, it's so fun to be here yeah. at the booth with you right now. I mean, we're I'm a huge fan of UAVionics products. We're building it into the Mustang. We've got it coming into the Bonanza. We're doing demos with it with all tons of other things. So amazing products. But the cool part is you're always coming up with new things too. Yes. And here at the show, you're demonstrating some really cool things. First of all, let's talk about HSI on the AV30, yep. which is super cool. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, you know, the AV30 is a multifunction display. It's an attitude indicator and directional gyro. But everyone says, well, I want to be able to fly IFR. I want right. to have a, an approach, essentially. And for years, they've been asking for that. And the AV HSI, much very similar to the AV Link, is a module that you'll connect to the back that's going to provide you the ability to do that approach, essentially. Wow. So it'll provide you both the horizontal and vertical guidance you need to fly IFR. And uh, something that customers have been asking for for a while. We're super excited to bring it to bear here at the show and we've had a lot of great feedback on it. So, fun I, times. I love that it's so easy to grow with the products. I mean, that's the thing that I value a lot. I'm all about keeping people flying economically, yeah. which obviously works perfectly for UAV Onyx. Yeah. You can start with one AV30, you can expand to another AV30, have one do your attitude, one do your DG, and then you can do an add-on now, Yes. right? You came out with the AV Mag that makes yep. it possible for the remote magnetometer, AV Link so that people can go and communicate, all these are add-ons, and you're, so you're not leaving your old customers behind. That's right, and you know, our, our concept is an open, connected co a cockpit, right? right? So the ability for you to get the connections and integrations you need without necessarily having to completely change your whole panel or be completely locked in. We recognize that planes have been around a while, they have yeah. a lot of equipment, and uh, sometimes you like the older things you have, so why not keep them in play? And, the things like the AV Link and the AV HSI allow you to do that and create this ecosystem that uses our products, but also those from our competitors and our other vendors. Right, and, and you can keep building, right? Yes. Start with one, add another, start adding the other features, upgrade to IFR if you need to do that. Yeah. Like you just kind of keep growing. I also happen to like the AV20. This small, we <laughs> use it of course, because that's fun because it's got you know, the G meter and all sorts of other things with like battery and other data that it brings along. So great instrument, 12 different functions packed into a two inch dial. Into a tiny so, little yeah, thing, great. right? And that's great. And then if you fly Canada or if you're going otherwise, and you want diversity, then you've got the Tail Beacon X you do. and a full transponder, low, you know, really lightweight. So that's an option as, as well. So that's right. pretty cool. Yeah, the, the, the uh, Tail Beacon X really allows you to go globally, right? Yeah. We've obviously tested it extensively in the US, up in Canada as well. It meets your diversity requirements, which mm -hmm. you need to be able to do space based communication for uh, ADSB. Yeah. And uh, it's a great product. It ties in well with the AV30 for certified aircraft and also the AV20 for experimental right. aircraft as well. So you've got two options there on the control head and it's a good way to be able to get into the game. And again, it's an economical approach to it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's what we like to do is get everybody on board, right? We want to produce things that really work for the general aviation community yeah. as a whole. I, you know, the other thing I don't want to have it go unmentioned is I'm also a fan, you know, so many people, you launch your company right with, with uh, that Sky Beacon and yet they still fly with a lot of wires in the cockpit. They're getting all their ADS-B in yep. through some kind of a portable, plugged in, everything else. But Sky Sensor, you can have two matching things on each <laughs> wingtip and poof, everybody on the airplane's got the Wi-Fi connection to see ADS-B, to see everything that they need to. Right, it's, you know, it's about situational awareness and safety for us, right? Uh -huh. We started the company with the idea that we we're gonna be able to create this integrated airspace. And that means being able to see everything else that's flying mm -hmm. around you. And Sky Sensor adds to that capability through Wi-Fi, can display traffic back on the AV-30 or on another EFB on your knee. Uh, so it's a great option that's coming out and we're excited to announce that back at Sun and Fun. We expect it to be available here to a certified aircraft in a very short period of time. That'll Looking for that every day as we get I close. I hate wires, so I mean, it's great. just anything that cleans everything up in there is great. And we also like vintage planes, and we're looking at you know that we we were just poking around this morning and looking at like some deals coming across and thinking, oh man, that would be cool. And when you get something like a vintage plane, I like the idea that we don't have to make the panel all of a sudden look all modern. We can go to a, right. the, like you've made it so the user interface can be vintage. You can literally pick a vintage instrument and it comes up that way. So I'm just saying thanks, because that that's cool that you can have yeah. the modern features 
and it still retain a vintage panel with it. Yeah, I mean, aircraft come from a variety of different eras, and uh, you know, the vintage look, the three-inch dial, keeps you in the panel that you have. So yeah. you're, you're changing your, your view from that perspective, uh, of what you can see in the AV30, but you don't have to cut through the panel. And you know, we have other products coming along too. The one next to me here, the retro pilot, right? Looking at a different era, it's a way of keeping these old pl planes going and providing to them a functionality, autopilot essentially, that you might not otherwise be able to get to. You know, we're all about that innovation that meets a need in the marketplace yeah. that is otherwise unanswered by a glass panel. So let's talk about this because this <laughs> is fun. Like one of the things that's cool is when companies bring things that they're just experimenting with and seeing, well, we have this really cool idea. What do you guys all think about it? Is this something that you want for your plane? Tell me about Retro Pilot over here. Yeah, so, you know, it's a, it's a great story, right? So flying along, member of our team, Jason, he has a co-pilot next to him who decides to take his headphones off, sets him on the oak, and as Jason's flying, he's like, I, I constantly have to correct. I don't understand. Well, come to find out those headphones were enough weight to adjust the yoke to, to steer the plane. Yeah, you're trimming. Right? Just yeah. like it doesn't take much. I mean, you know, even in the Bonanza, it's like just a small spring that when you're turning actually gets you that, that yeah. trimming. Yeah. So we took that idea and obviously applied the same kind of innovation and engineering that UAVionics is famous for. And out comes Retropriot, which is essentially a weight-based autopilot to be able to control the yoke. It clamps on, it's very easy to install, you know, very easy to get through from a North Sea CERT perspective and provide you that level of functionality. Uh, but also it's very safe to operate, right? At any point in time, you can take over again as a pilot and do the things you need to do. So we're excited to bring this here for uh, the, the show and, and get some feedback from individuals. Of how would you like to use it? What more would you like to see yeah. in it? You know, and again, it also ties back to our AV30 expanding that ecosystem further, allowing people to have the connected cockpit that they really expect. It's, it's, it's very cool. I mean, I tried it uh, with the simulator and it's basically, you know, we hear the term rate-based autopilot, but you've got a weight-based autopilot <laughs> yes. now. And it literally crawls the weight back and forth on the center axis of the yoke and, and gives you that leveling and actually makes, allows you to do whatever you need to do with it. And it's essentially removable. Like it's yep. kind of portable, can be certified Norsi as far as approvals. And um, what a cool concept. Yeah, it's fun. You know, and then we've had lots of great feedback here. Great feedback on the AVHSI, and then we have another one as well, which is the AV Analog Port Adapter, or APA. Uh, again, answering the call from many of our customers about, hey, can I connect with an analog uh, autopilot, right? So yeah. the S6 series in particular allows you to be connected up to the AV30 and fly the aircraft the way you expect. So it's like incrementally extending that ecosystem, whether it's with the wingtip or the tail beacon, or now in the cockpit. That's been our goal, and you know, for years we've been building on that ADSB knowledge, now we're really starting to expand inside the cockpit as well, and it's been fantastic so far. Happy to be here for the show this year, Air Venture as well, 2023, and look, see what we bring out next year. <laughs> I want to see where this thing goes because I, it just made my head explode. There's a million things I could see this doing and getting added on, so I'll be one of the ones using that QR code and putting in my, yeah. putting in my feedback to you. That'd be great, I appreciate it. All right, well, thank you so, so much. Your support of Social Flight, everything that you do for general aviation. You made ADSB, you made all these different things attainable and inexpensive for people when they have mandates or they've got to change things with their panel. And we're, anyone who's a friend of GA like that is always a friend that I appreciate. Yeah, well, we, li we love the community and uh, you know, continue to support it. Obviously, the best products we can provide. Absolutely. So, right. For AirVenture 2023, I'm Jeff Simon. I wish you all blue skies.